Next up in the box, baseball fans, welcome back to another episode. We are on case number two, part three of 2021 Top Series 1. This is a hanger case of 64 boxes. This is part three. Let's step in the box. Let's see if we can keep hitting some jacks. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, we've pulled some pretty solid cards. We're looking to pull those rookie short prints and the parallels are tough. So let's get into this today. Hope you guys are doing well. Here in Illinois, it is a crappy day. A little rain, cooled down. So it's a good day to be opening cards, I'll tell you that. Baseball season is underway. Oh, Tani is hot. Randy is sticking. Poor DeGrom can't get offense when he pitches for the Mets. Dude's a stud. I'd love if that was numbered. That was in a that was in a pretty good spot there. I don't think those are usually right in the middle. I don't think that's yeah, I guess I didn't need to sl sleeve that. I thought that might be a parallel possibly at first, but it wasn't as I fumble around. We're looking to pull these 52 chromes as well. But the end is coming on Series 1. It's still out there. If you're planning on picking up Series 1, I would suggest getting, if you can find it, as soon as possible. Tins are hitting the stores. I've seen packs all over the place, but I think the run is coming to an end. I know I'm coming down to the very end of what I have, end of this case, and I have a little more. And I've hit my, I've hit my limit, man. This product out of the gate seems really good, so I figured better get it opened and get it sorted. I had people, t I had a few people suggest that I put sets together and sell it, and I just, I've never been one to do that. I would rather separate out the rookies, get rid of the veterans, and then uh, when a player like Tatis goes off, you have 100 Tatis cards that are worth 50 bucks a piece raw. And it's just, you know, it's everybody's, everybody collects a little differently. That's what's really cool about collecting is there's so many different people, so many different ways to do it. Looking to hit some rainbow foil rookies. Haven't had a good luck on those. You do pull a fair share of those. Johnny Bench. Donnie ball game. You do pull quite a few. There's any trout's a good trout. He hit a bomb. Anybody see him? Otani on second base. <laughs> when Trout hit the home run, that was awesome. But Otani's cards are going crazy. I wish I would have sent more out to get graded of him. I just kind of felt like I had more time to do it. And wow, was I wrong there with PSA, $300 a card. I sold a little too early on some of his stuff. But that's part of the game. It's cool seeing players go off and their values go nuts. You could have picked up PSA 10s of Otani for 35 bucks, 35 bucks a piece, not too long ago. And they're selling in the 150 to 200 dollars range. That's crazy. His market is huge. I'm looking forward to Bowman coming out. I guess it's gonna be a little longer. End of April.
There's a Tatis and the old Cal Ripken. That would be funny if they threw in like real autos of those through the years. There's the Posh. He is not off to a good start. I think he's batting like a buck. I've been kind of scrolling through the stats. Any trout's a good trout. Here's the Bart Carlson back-to-back -back Jacks pack. Got to like that pack. So again, every case on average, you get around 11 or 12 base rookie cards of each player. So you should be able to put together 11 to 12 complete sets if you're looking to do that. Last year I bought like, I'm trying to think of how many it was. It was at least eight complete sets of 2019 Top Series 2. Got those for like 50 bucks a piece from the same. And I like, if when I buy complete sets, I like to buy from the same seller if I can. That way they haven't cherry picked them and put them in there. And man, those cards were nice that came out of there. Um, That color looks a little different. I haven't seen the color down there. I don't know if that's a border of one of the inserts. I don't know if they have, if that's Father's Day. That's, got. I was gonna say that's a, had to be that insert. Was that a parallel? Nope. Through the years, that's pretty cool, but I don't remember that one being in that spot either. That's definitely a different color than those purple. Maybe that's, maybe that's the um, blue border possibly. I'm gonna leave that one over there. I'm gonna check that one out on eBay. There's Bart Pearson. Because it was usually those through the years are in the back portion of the pack. Here's the posh. Maybe that's the blue parallel. I'm not sure, man. It's hard. That's why you got to kind of stay on your toes when you're open this. Never know what's coming. Again, the back to back pack jack. Come on, get in there. A little cold in the house today. I turned off the heater last week and it's dropped down. I get stubborn. You turn it off, be like, I'm done for the year. <laughs> Spring is here. Spring is here. We're halfway through the first sleeve. No short prints. This one compared to the first case, lots of short prints in the first case. First half of the case, only two short prints. So hoping to really put together some of the short prints here. Come on. Security tag falling off of that one. Looks like we have a gold. First gold. Golds used to be one in three of these. Definitely less than that these days. I'll tell you that. I should be tracking that as one of my stats. The golds. I could go back and do it pretty easily. Just watch the recap. Hashtag recaps. And there we go. That one's a pretty solid. At least it's a rookie. I was thinking that was Casey Mize at first. It's this Bo Burrows that threw me for a loop. So we did pull a gold, and it's a rookie. We'll see on that one. And we have another back-to-back -back rookie. I like this one, Nick Madrigal. Rainbow foil. 
Wish we could have reversed those gold and rainbow foil. I thought that was Casey Mize at first. That Bo Burrows throws me for a loop. When you put them up next to each other, they... It's Bobby D laying the wood. Also, what I've noticed is when you open up 16 boxes... Um, and again, I'm pulling these right out of the um, case next to each other. So like I'm not just randomly picking, I'm picking like each quadrant, two from each corner next to each other. And the distribution is about three rookies a piece for every 16 boxes. There's Mount Castle. So again, I am tracking that on my spreadsheet. And again, later on, I do that with products if I can, if I open up cases to kind of get an idea of what's coming out, how many rookies. So if you ever look and load up on base rookies, sometimes it just justifies instead of going out and buying them raw, you can just buy, you can just buy on the secondary market, get the boxes and load up on the rookies at the same time, plus have potential. One of the reasons I don't like to buy rookies straight up like cards is because you're just buying the card. You spend, a, I'm spent on a retail for each of these boxes. So you have a chance to pull who knows what, like a rainbow foil of Nick Madrigal. It's fun. Open up product. We have not hit any 52 chromes through the first five boxes. I'm trying to put together that set. I'm getting ever so close. It's, and it looks like we might have our first short print. Rookie, 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 rookie. Be a rookie. New York Yankee rookie. There we go. Rookie short print. Probably the base 30. It is. Love that. Let me get a sleeve. And let me get a stand. Got a stand. So there's our second rookie short print out of this. Solid card. Let's get the, uh, come on. Get the Trout and Lou Bob cards. I'll put those over there. There we go. Rookie short print. That's what I live for in this product. Rizzo. Donnie ball game, Madrigal pack, Jimenez, and there's our first bomb in six boxes. Kaboom. He's off to a rough start as well. Can't panic in the MLB. It's tough hitting, man. It takes a while. Golf on this weekend. Baseball. NASCAR's on this weekend. I watch racing. Not as much as I used to. I usually just tune in at the end now. Last 20, 30 laps. I wish... I haven't found an app that will like kind of like ESPN when it gets to the late innings and give you alert. NASCAR needs a app. 25 laps remaining. Tune in. Kyle Bush is leading. <laughs> so we have another golden. We don't have a short print. It's a socks. White socks. And it's no more Mazzara. So there's a gold. We've got a Gavin Lux. Future star. I sleeve these future stars. 
You never know about those. I will say I uh, I got rid of all my Tatis rookie cups. Highly underestimated what those cards would come by. Man, holy cow. There's that Bo Burrows and Bo Bichette. Spelled different. All right, one more box left in the first sleeve. Then we're moving on to the second half. So we've pulled a short print. Pulled one autograph in this case. The last case, there was two. Pulled one uh, Father's Day blue parallel, like a good parallel. In the last case, we pulled one Independence Day parallel. In this case, really hope to see another one of those. Home run challenge card. Those home run challenge cards are very distinct. Have yet to pull 52 chrome out of this first eight, this whole sleeve. That's pretty crazy. I might go live later tonight. I wasn't feeling all that great this morning. Home um, Francisco Lindor. Home run challenge card. Put that over here. Casey Mize rookie. There's a nice one. Dylan Carlson. And I like that card. Come on. And there's the bone pack. So two bones in the first eight. So that should get us three on the nether. On the other. Again, like if you're look going to buy, if you let's say one of these guys goes crazy, and you're like, all right, I want to get a few of these rookie cards. And you can pick these up for 10, 15 bucks a piece. This the hangers. Go buy eight of them. Pick up two on average through eight. Through 16, it's three. Sometimes you'll get a fourth. However, I say that, but if you don't get a, if you get a random lot, sometimes you can get four or five, and then next thing you know, you can get one or zero. I've seen it. I've had it happen. But we are on the second half of this 16 box. Come on, there's our color. Looks like we might have an ice ice baby color, possibly. There's a definite rainbow foil. But if there's a rainbow foil, there's a Tatis. If there's a rainbow foil, there shouldn't be much else. Hmm, ice ice baby red. There we go. Who's it going to be? Rookie, rookie, rookie. Not a rookie. Oh, it is a rookie. Nice. We've got a rookie. Ice Ice Baby. Brady Singer, Kansas City Royals. Not a bad one there. We're getting a lot of pictures here. Ice Ice Baby, Brady Singer, and we got the Debbie Garcia short print. So... There's our future star. We'll sleeve that. There's the Casey Mize. See that Bo Burrows. Look out. Every time I see Bo Burrows, I think it's Casey Mize. Pretty similar. Out of the pack. Especially looking through an iPhone. But in the beginning, if you so kindly could, hit that like button. If you don't have time to stick around and watch full videos, I always do recaps at the end. 
fast forward to the end, hit that like button, subscribe if you could, go live every now and then. Might go live tonight, get this case opened. I got a, uh, I got some more series ones, tens. Got two Meyer blister packs, have four Don Russ fat packs for basketball. So we're keeping the string alive in the last few weeks. Then there's gonna be a little lull in activity until Bowman comes out. I was really hoping, I was hoping that one of my submissions would come back by now, but there's been no movement in my submissions. We, I had those two. That, I've been submitting cards at the beginning of each month. I had two submissions come back within a few weeks of each other. And ever since, man, the next submission is a ways out. It's not even, not even in grading. I have a 12-card submission that economy that's in grading, but nothing else. We're loading up on the, the Baum and the Carlson are in the same pack every time. That's a cool one. Hank Aaron through the years. With the bat knob. The scoo ball. There we go. Imagine being a breaker, breaking 10 cases a day. Those guys that are doing that are machines. I mean, I break these down in quarter cases. I should have just done a live video with a whole case, but that's a long time. It's under four hours, but still, I guess it's probably more like three and a half. So through this 16 sleeve so far, we've not had a 52 chrome. And I've been just hoping to catch lightning in a bottle and hitting a color parallel of one of those 52 chromes. And speaking of 52 chrome, we get a base one. And it's a Johnny Votto 52 chrome. Those are so nice. I love those. Here's a Bobby D laying the wood. Bobby Dahlback is not laying the wood. Need that guy to start hitting. So this case was late getting here. All these retail cases were late going out to not the stores, but to the vendors who were selling them and not the retail stores, but the other stores that were getting them. And I would have liked to have these open before that last PSA submission that I sent in, because now I think there's going to be a shortage on PSA 10 of these rookies for sure, I set some in that I could, but I wish I could open these cases before PSA shut down, because there's definitely these short prints. Rookies, I would have loved to send in. Some of these parallels, that orange Tatis would be, that orange Tatis is pretty nice, it looks pretty good. Come on. We got five boxes left, including this one.
comes our inserts. Got a rainbow foil. Luke Weaver. There's our Redux cards, four per. Fernando Tatis Jr. Put that in his pile. And there's the Derek Jeter stars. Back half. There's the Jimenez. And there's the Bohm. So there's our third Bohm for sure. Been keeping track of him. Come on. There's that Bo Burles that always thinks Casey Mize. I have to do that double take every time. The more of these you open, the more your eye just gets familiar with, with who it is. This whole time this has been a little crooked. Four to go. Amateur hour, baby. We're in the minors. Would love to get to the big show. Keep the grind going, guys. Come on, rookie short prints. So in between each quarter case, I go, there's a 52 chrome. I go back and I sort everything. There's a Freddie Freeman. What a hitter he is. And we got a gold behind him. Let's see who the gold is before. A, who's that? Woodruff. Miranda Woodruff. Freddie Freeman. What a hitter he is. Man, what a, there's a Woodruff gold. So we had a, that's what's weird with these. You had a, a 52 chrome. You have a gold. And then right behind it is a pretty nice rainbow foil of Andres Jimenez. So we've had some pretty good rookie color in this pack. Not any trout's a good trout. Not necessarily the big names you're hoping for, but you just never know in the long run. I like that Mookie. There's a Bobby D. I mean, you just never know. Jimenez might end up being the best player. You don't know. This whole set might be nothing but trash bag rookies. You don't know. But I do know this. It only takes one. It only takes one guy going crazy to go off and be in the playoffs and it can go nuts. I have not checked the values of Randy, but he has come out sticking this year. A few homers, keeps knocking guys in. He's a hitter, guys. In a short span, he's showing that he can hit. And I expect, if you are a Randy Arozarena fan and you were looking to put some money, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Take Take this opinion or leave it. Don't put your own money on the line. But I think Randy Arozarena is a beast, and he's proven it. And I think his stock's going to keep going up. And the Rays are good, even though they're a small market team. If they're in the playoffs again, his price is just going to keep going. I have, again, I have not checked his prices to start off the year here, but I guarantee you they have not gone down the way he's hitting. Dude is just a pure hitter. Swinging the lumber. Tatis. The hobby likes the hitters. The pitchers. Like that rookie short print there with uh, on the stand, I'm not all that excited about because Debbie Garcia is a long shot. You just never know. What do we got? This is like stuck together. Ooh, it looks like we got a relic. Make sure. And it is our first relic out of this 
Case. Dansby Swanson. So there we go. A napkin relic, Major League material. Oh, Tani. Pete Alonzo. So after this one, we got two more boxes. There's Scooball. Mr. Scooball. Twenty twenty. I have not looked to see what a um, twenty twenty one top series one hobby box is going for. Have they gone up in price? I'm just assuming they probably have. I'm sure they're over. I'm sure they're over one hundred and fifty bucks. But I really haven't looked. It's buying retail for a great price. Getting these under retail from a distributor, which is great. Price per card on these hangers is the best value. Have another gold. I'm going to add the gold to my spreadsheet. I'm going to go back and look at that first case to see how many golds were pulled. And we have a cup. Ooh, that's a Lou Bob. You can see. You can see the glove. Lou Bob, the Glaber Home Run Challenge card. And I like that one. Lou Bob. Luis Robert, cup. I like that card. That's a solid card. Numbered out of 2021. I like it. I like it a lot. I didn't check that Soto that came right behind. I'm making sure that wasn't numbered. Some advanced stat parallel. Those advanced stat parallels get lost in the shuffle, guys. Those are easy to miss because those aren't turned around and they're like right there. Only pulled a couple of them. But they are easy to miss. Any trout's a good trout. The Bart Carlson back-to-back -back jack pack. We have a big pile of cards rolling. Another reason I don't like to open up the full case or even a half case right at once is just the management of the cards, it gets overwhelming. It takes you longer to sort them. I mean, right now I got these two huge stacks of cards. And here is our last box. Number 16 of 16. Coming to the conclusion of the third quarter of the case. Like I said, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go live for the last quarter of the case tonight. Um, last pack, Mojo. I really should be looking at the first card and the last card on these as well every time, and you'll start to see that you get packs with the same guy on top. I just amateur hour rookie move right there. I've opened up almost uh, who knows several hundred of these of these uh, hanger boxes now. I should know who's on the front and be able to predict what rookies are in there. It's an, that's, rookie, that's a rookie move, man. Come on, man. But last pack, Mojo. Are we going to pull anything? Rainbow foil. Lou Bob, base Lou Bob. I like that gold Lou Bob. And there's a JD Davis. Jimenez rookie card. Schmidt insert. So nothing, nothing in that pack.
And there we have it. There is the conclusion of the case. Let's do a little recap here. Let me move this out of the way. So let's just go through this little portion. Here's our Roberts, Trouts, and Tatises. Any Trout's a good Trout. Tatis insert. So those, again, those flow out pretty evenly. They all do. Here is the monstrous, monstrous pile of inserts. Ooh. Go through that again. Here's this one, the oddball. I think this is a blue parallel. It's not numbered, but I do. I, I could be totally wrong on that, but I think it's a blue parallel. We had a relic in this side, Dansby Swanson, Major League Material. Nothing major there. Here is our pile, some of the pile of goods. Glaber Taurus Home Run Challenge card. We had two of those. The Lou Bob, I like that card a lot. Here's our couple 52 Chromes. Future Star, Home Run Challenge card, Future Star, and another gold. And then here's why we open them, boys. At least here's why I open them. These piles right here, the base rookie pile. As you can see, we are loading up. Big old pile of base rookies. We had a multiple rainbow parallels, a couple infielders, Jimenez and Madrigal. Gold, Bo Burrows, the Detroit Tigers, rookie. Had another rookie, Ice Ice Baby Red. Trash Bag Centerings. <laughs> it is number one of 199. It is the eBay one of one, number one of 199. That makes it a million dollars. <laughs> and then... The biggest hit of this quarter, the Debbie Garcia Yankees pitcher, short print base number 30. So not too bad. We picked up some good rookie stuff. I'm pretty pleased with that. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Hope you guys are having a good day. We will go live sometime later this afternoon tonight. Stay tuned for that. Take care of yourselves. Peace.